Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a notification using IW26 on SAP. Um, so let's get started. So um, on the top left, you can put IW26, which it should take you to um, the notification display. Now right here, you have all this information. On the top where you see me typing, you want to put the title, a small little description describing the problem or the notification you put in and forth so just put a good description of what that is so your maintenance planner can just read the header and know what you're talking about so right here like I like I said just give a good header so your maintenance planner knows what you're talking about so right here I just put standardized motor gearbox on conveyor 1212 um, and then right here you can put the plant number after you put the plant number you might want to put your uh, ZID number and then from there you can click the little box right here and then you're gonna press the check mark and then it should take you to like a, what well, looks like a IHO1 which is the function location structure right here you're gonna find all your equipment as you can see um, here's just some assemblies um, you got the big line one processing room and then this is all my equipment for the processing now you're gonna look for the conveyor which it was 1203 so there you go I found it click it check mark press check mark again and then here um, you can pull a full description of um, what you need needs to be done but I'm gonna skip this because it, it, the video was pretty long what it took so you're gonna see me here finishing up the notification um, so right here you can put priority put um, whatever you need to put is it urgent is it next week thing you can work on you put the priority then you put go to objectives and then here you're gonna see um, a lot of different um, components that can be like cylinder drive um, do your best to identify these because in the long run it's gonna help a lot um, when running different queries on SAP so I mean for example you can rank these uh, notifications as PM01s, emergency uh, emergency work orders, and then you can um, put these type of equipment. So then, on IW37, you can run a query where we'll pull all the breakdowns for a filter, fuse box, gearbox, heat element, and what whatever you guys have on your list. Um, and it's pretty nice knowing what what you guys have most uh, breakdowns on. And here damage here is another um, screen here you can see that um, we have like um, plugs stuck closed worn parts condensation burn broken you can also use those um, to later on create different charts and that and that will help that will be more a little bit more breakdown analysis which it will um, those type of data will help a lot for the breakdown analysis sheets so here it causes same thing you have all these different causes like what could have caused the um, part to break you have accident damage contamination manufacturer defects here also another big key of um, helping your system the lab labeling these notifications with this um, these labels can help you get to the root cause and knowing what what's the issue it can be an accidental damage or like to put up guards is it, uh, is it uh, installation related so do we have to train our technicians to install parts better all those kinds of stuff is all good data and here I'm just gonna put like another description where it is mortar doesn't have a PM cost tax entry and then after you're done then you're just gonna go up there and click and save and I will put your personal number so then they so know who who put it on there and right like there shows my name and just click save and um, you're gonna see the notification number at the bottom left as you can see and that's pretty all and that's all how you, that's how you enter a notification through IW26